Hey, how's it going? It's Martin Ross, and today we are going to react to one of my favorite, uh, just amazing person, uh, personal friend, if I, I, I were to say, uh, Lloyd Pop. Lloyd Pop! <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Um, before we get into it, you know the drill. Um, hit that like button, leave a comment, say Lloyd Pop was up. Uh, hit that subscribe button, click the bell so that we get alerts straight to your device. Also, most important, if you like the video or if you know somebody that knows Lloyd Pop, share it. And also, make sure you subscribe to Lloyd Pop, okay? His link will be in the description. Make sure you do all the things that I asked you to do. So, let's talk about it. Lloyd Pop, in my opinion, is the... Well, it's not my opinion. It's fact. Um, he is a, a hard-working person. There's not a was. You may not see it today but the man grinded the man grinded along with me when back in like the 2007 8 9 10s we were all learning the talk box a lot of us were finally getting the secrets to the talk box finally meeting people that were helping us out with the talk box and we were doing our own thing and um i i met lloyd pop on one of my videos he commented on and he was just being very supportive uh you know YouTube was uh, more of a community than it was a business back then. And um, you had more of a connection and you got to inbox people. Remember those days? You got to inbox people directly. And um, Lloyd Pop was the first person to ask me questions or to give me advice. I mean, the guy is a, uh, in my opinion, he's definitely a talent. Uh, a, he's just extravagant. He, he, he's the face of Indonesian talk box. I mean, the guy is amazing, still is. Um, so going forward, he was the first and the only person that really wanted to collaborate with me on doing TalkBox videos. So if you know me, you know Lloyd Pop. That's just how it goes, right? We did uh, every year we would work together towards making a February 14th Valentine's Day video. I think we have two or three. Um, and he was on it. He would be like, hey, let me know when you're ready to record. I'll send him the files. Literally 24, 48 hours, bam. Everything's ready to go. He understood the concept of how to lay the stems. Never an issue. Knew what to send me. Made life easy in collaborations. We also did a song called Funk Zone. All that stuff's linked in the description. Um, and again, the man, I said, hey, I didn't have an idea with it. And he put the idea together. And he's like, here, I'll do what, I'll, I'll do what I feel. And I'm like, awesome. Do what you feel. And well, it's one of my favorite songs from my Finding Ground album. It's just the fact that like, I finally have a partner to talk box with because it's competitive out there. Um, and I, I do understand that a lot of people want to um, have their own talk box style or like, I'm only the talk boxer out there. And me and Lloyd really wanted to break that up. We want to be like, nah, you can have your talk box, he can have his talk box, but we can all talk box together. I thought it was just an amazing collaboration. I really wish we could do it again. Um, but we're about to find out where Lloyd Pop is at. So I'm going to react to a video that he posted. You're going to react with me or ride along with me. Leave a comment as we watch. But let's watch the video. Let's see what's going on with Lloyd Pop. What's up, y'all? Hope you're doing fine. What's up, you know, Lloyd I stopped Pop? making music like seven years ago. But up to this year, I still receive messages from all over the world asking about where I've been, what happened to my music. I still get messages too. I get messages too, Lloyd. I always get messages about, where are you at, man? What happened to Lloyd? Uh, I saw you on that YouTube video. Is he, you guys making anything? So yeah, I do get these same messages. Why they couldn't find my videos no more in YouTube? So I make this video as a reply, I think, uh, for those who've been wondering. And I really thank you so much for your guys' attention regarding that. You know, um, music had always been part of my life. I mean, when I was a kid, I remember like, I want to be James Hetfield in elementary school. Uh -huh. I used to want to be like Kurt Cobain, so I learned to play guitar. And in junior high, I used to want to be like Marilyn Manson. <laughs> and in okay, high school, I used to want to be like Tupac, so I started rapping. And Hey, he did have that Tupac vibe that he had going on. That's one thing I noticed about Lloyd. He had a, a Pac vibe, and now I know, okay. And... I think, I don't know, it was it in, was it when I was in college or after the college. I used to do DJing also. And one day I remember that YouTube came and I used to listen to Zap and Roger, you know, like through the video game Fight City. They have more bounce to the ounce on their radio. 
So I remember when YouTube came, I, I searched like Zep and Roger, I think, and that's, that, was, that was the first time I saw Roger Troutman doing live with a talk box, and I was like... I want to pause here. Uh, so yeah, so around the 2000s, we finally got to see Roger like live videos because before that, you could really just play the record. And if you didn't have... Uh, you know, internet, and there wasn't really YouTube videos going on. You didn't understand what the talk box was, how to see it. If you caught the MTV, which I was too young to understand, he did show up. But growing up in that time, when me and Lloyd were really, really learning, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Like blown away, and and that time, you know, I want to be like Roger Trotman. I decided I want to be that guy, so I bought me a talk box. He is that guy. When I say that guy, he embodies Roger Trotman. He embodies the enthusiasm and the um, stage presence. That's why I love Lloyd Pop. And I got me a keyboard. Keep in mind that I couldn't play keyboard, you know? And, but I, I, I wanna be like Roger so bad. So I got me a keyboard and, and, I, and I used to like memorizing, you know, like notes and stuff instead of playing it by my knowledge. I mean, I just memorizing stuff, you know? And I remember that I had so many passion in Talkbox, and when I upload my video of doing Talkbox, I had so many response. And I can say that through all my career as a musician, you know, I used to play guitar, bass, drum, like these music instruments. Uh, I made so many progress when I was playing Talkbox, you know. I had a chance of working with uh, musicians from all over the world, uh, doing TV, doing magazine. Uh, performing on other countries, overseas, uh, working just from home, you know, getting money just from home. You know, I was like living a dream, to be honest, even more than I always wanted. I don't know about other guy, but uh, for me, this is like a dream come true. Maybe some people have higher dream, but for me, this is like, this is what I always wanted even better, you know. But you know, the ironic thing is like, when we reach the thing that we always wanted in our life, our mind and our perception now, it might be changed after that. Once I want to pause that. Uh, he's absolutely right. Uh, the saying goes, um, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. And those are situations that I've been in where I get to a point and I'm like, is this right? Everybody's telling you it's right. Is this right? So, yeah, I hear him. I totally understand him on this. So you reach that thing, maybe our perception kind of change. It's like, okay, this is it, you know? So I think this is what happened to me regarding talk box. I mean, I was like living a dream, to be honest. I was like having a ball. I don't know how to put it down. I was like having so ma so much fun. But there at the same are. time, like <laughs> I started to oh, think about like deeper there. stuff, awesome. I think, as, as a human being, you know, as I grow up, as I, as, I, as I get older and stuff and do it. And as I progress in this talk box game, in this music game. So uh, I started to think about deeper stuff and... I don't know, but it, it's been, it's, it's like years, you know, and I decided and I conclude somehow to make a long story short that if I want to uh, grow as a human being, as a spiritual being, uh, I have to stop uh, the music life, like totally, you know, because mm -hmm. there, there are I, so, I, so many things in music that's like blocking me, like from, from growing, I think, as a human being. So, so to the point that I, I, I decided to like stop making music, you know. So I closed my videos on YouTube, like totally, because if I don't stop totally, I'm going to like keep on continuing doing music I, because I know how it is, you know. It's addicting. I know how the game is. Just stop <laughs> everything at one time, you know. And I think this is one of the reasons that I didn't make like an uh, announcement about this before because I don't know like how many people can relate with this type of thing, you know, because it's like a deeper personal thing like like a personal journey thing so yeah this is what happened but you know like i said in the beginning like up to this year i still receive messages like from all over the world so this is why i i uh, make this video right here you know as a sign of respect you know because i didn't expect like uh many people like um give attention like this much so yeah this is actually uh what happened and it is what it is and on this occasion also i want to thank you so much for everybody that's been supporting Lloyd Pop, thank you so much to all of you guys uh, amazing, for the man. support, like from from the bottom <laughs> of my heart. Amazing. And you know, I also want to announce that for the new contents regarding this channel, I think it's gonna be more 
about languages you know i found right. me a new passion in learning languages so okay. i think my next video is gonna be about languages or maybe about culture also about this type of thing i think and i, I will be very very honored if you guys stay with me and support me on that one I'll i think here. that's it I'll and thank you so much once again and i see you guys soon god willing goodbye all right so that was lloyd pop's video so now you know um he actually reached out to me and told me, he said, hey, just letting you know, um, I'm going to go away. Um, and as you can see, that's what he reasons why he left. Um, but please, 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 if you follow me, you got to follow Lloyd. Lloyd is a, a great friend. Uh, I, I can't really describe like how great of a person he is um, through our personal chats and just working with him. He's, he's a good guy. He's, he's got his heart in the right place. And when he does something he succeeds at doing it which is amazing um, so head over to his channel link is in the description make sure you subscribe follow leave a comment on his page say hey what's up Martin sent me or something just to make sure um, to get the word out and I wanted to do this video to get the word out because it is a question I get a lot where where's Lloyd um, you guys work together you guys still keep in contact of course we keep in contact the man is just a homie to me and he's literally a brother from another mother in a different country and uh, I hope one day in our lifetime we actually get to meet. I hope one day I could get to give him fist pumps and man, you're amazing, you know. And thank you for taking me on this talk box journey and making me who I am and wanting me to do more with my videos. So I appreciate that. So to conclude the video, check out Lloyd's What Happened to My Music. The link is also in the description. If you enjoy, the content that I bring you as well. Hit a like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Also hit the subscribe button, click the bell so that way you get future updates straight to your device. If you love the video, like the video, know somebody who wants to know what's going on, share the video. And again, check out Lloyd Pop's page, link's in the description. Make sure you subscribe, do all the things I asked you to do there. Tell them I said hi. Y'all take it easy.